So what I'm going to do now, once I've got my tasks in here, then we need to go in and we need to set our durations. So I'm just going to say my mock-up toy design is going to take me five days. We'll do our creating um, the prototype is going to be about 20 days. Our testing, we'll do that in 10 days. So here, just typing in, these are actually in days. So the duration is days, just like it is a Microsoft project. So now that I have that in here, my next thing that's very important are my predecessors. So I'm just going to do this in a waterfall approach. So I'm going to just say here, create survey. And the next one is to send toys out to the stores. And then here we're going to do analyze the data and so forth. We'll just kind of mock these up right quick. And you can have it be a drop down list like I'm doing here, or we can also change it where you have the task ID out here, and then this actually can be the task ID. So a couple different ways of doing this, um, depending on what's easier. Another way that I like to do it, it's wrong one, is I will come here, I will just do a control C and a control V and actually just paste it. So um, that makes it easy as well. So I do want to have these filled out so you guys can see how the scheduler does work. And then final toy design. Okay, so then let's go ahead and let's assign some tasks so you guys can see what it looks like in the My Work Reports. I'll just go ahead and assign myself a few of these. And as you can see, it brings down a drop down of the people who are in the system. So if I wanted to assign this to someone else, it's bringing up Scott. It's also bringing up Sean. And so I can assign these tasks to people on my team. So now that we've gotten our schedule set up, we've got our work breakdown structure, here's our summary tasks, here are our summaries, tasks going along the schedule, and then our tasks, and we've actually flagged this one here as a milestone. Um, now we can go ahead, and what we do here is just here in my start date, I'm going to say what day is my project going to start. Well, let's just say that my project is actually going to start today. So that's all I need to do. And now I want it to go ahead and I want it to calculate my schedule for me. So here I'm going to come in up in my task toolbar again, and I'm just going to say calculate schedule. So what this is going to do for me now is it's going to take my durations, my predecessors into account. and It's actually going to waterfall that schedule for me, just like Microsoft Project would. So it just makes it very convenient. I don't have to figure out what 15 days from now is. I don't need to figure out how the whole thing working. It's just going to go ahead and do that for me. So that'll come back up. And so now you'll see that we went ahead and we have this task is actually going to start today. Since it's 10 days, it's going to go through February 4th and so on. And my project is actually going to be um, completed on May 19th. So here at my summary line, I see my project is 85 days. And then today through March 19th, or May 19th, I'm sorry, is my um, project. Another thing, too, is the timeline. So right now, create survey is the one thing that's on my timeline. You know, maybe I don't want that on my timeline. Maybe I actually want the summary tasks on my timeline. So I can do market research. I'm just clicking on the ellipses here, add to timeline. And then again here, my new product launch, add to timeline. And so now here, I've got a timeline of when my actual things are going on. So this can be down to the task level. So if you want to say, like, this section, we really want to have each project, each item here kind of fill out what's coming into that um, into that roll-up summary, you can actually put those tasks here. There's also a couple other things you can do in here. You can change some colors so it makes a little bit more sense. But it's nice because now that I have this here and all of my information in here, if I come to my home page on my project, now I'm going to see here is my timeline. Here is my late items. So currently we don't have any late items. Here is the current finish date of the project. This was the last day it was modified, and then was my percent complete and my total duration for my project.